What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome to GNR. My name is Francisco, and today we're going to be talking about a what is quite possibly my favorite gaming headset of 2021, and it's not an old headset. This is something that just came out. So uh, let's get right into it, shall we? Today we're talking about this SXFI gaming headset. Ta-da! And I gotta tell you, like I just said, this has probably become my favorite gaming headset of 2021, and quite possibly my favorite gaming headset, period. This thing is a very sleek, simple looking gaming headset. We don't have any crazy gimmicky uh, cuts or angles or bits of plastic on it to make it look gamerified or anything like that. This is a very simple looking headset. We have very nice thick cushions on the ear cups over here. And of course we have an aluminum reinforced headband. The underside of this headband is like minimally yet sufficiently cushioned. Uh, and the outsides of the ear cups are all plastic. Now this was a concern at first, but after some time, I gotta tell you, it's very durable. I've actually dropped it a few times already. I was like, oh my God, but uh, it survived. So very durable plastic. We do have some RGB lighting on the inside right here and on this outside right here that you're gonna see in a little bit when we actually get it all turned on. One of my favorite features about the build of this headset is not only incredibly comfortable, but something that's very underappreciated is that the headband has numerical markers for its settings. Other headbands usually just have like plastic little notches for you to try to guesstimate which notch is for you. I am a number seven. Seven on both sides is a perfect fit for me. I, I, this is literally all an incredibly comfortable headset. Um, it's not incredibly lightweight, but it's definitely not heavy. I think it has just the right amount of weight. Clamping force isn't too crazy. I've used these for extended periods of time for several hours at a time. Uh, no sweat on the ears, no itchiness of the ears, no discomfort, no fatigue, nothing. This is a very comfortable headset and I'm in love with it, y'all. It's great. Along with the headset itself, of course, you're gonna get a detachable microphone. And if you've watched my videos before, you know how much I love it when the microphones are detachable because you can take them off. As far as the connectivity options are concerned, we do have two different options. We've got 3.5 millimeter, USB-C to USB-C connectivity as well. The USB-C cable is a threaded cord. The 3.5 millimeter cable is a rubber cord. So when I open this up, and this is one of the things I also do appreciate about this headset a whole lot, is that I thought to myself, okay, I have a USB-C port on my PS5 and I have a USB-C port on my PC. So as far as USB-C to USB-C is concerned, I'm not worried about it. But maybe I have another device on my only USB-C port on my PC. So how do I get this to work on my computer? Or maybe you're someone who doesn't have USB-C ports on any of your devices, like your PC, your gaming console. How do you get this to work on your console or platform of choice? Well, the people at Creative were creative and went ahead and included a USB-C to USB-A adapter. You simply just plug it in and now it's a USB-A and USB-C cord. Problem solved, love it. As far as build is concerned, I have zero concern with the durability of the headset or anything like that. I think you're gonna have to try really hard to actually break these. The headset looks great, it fits great, it is incredibly comfortable. Uh, I, 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 have, I have no complaints. I have absolutely no complaints about the build quality of this headset. So that being said, let's get right into the bread and butter of it all. Let's talk about sound. I've heard a lot of complaints and I have suffered some of this myself with the different headsets on the PS5 and how some headsets output volume is low. You don't have to worry about that with this headset. The output volume for this headset on a PlayStation 5, regardless of you using the 3.5 cable to the controller or the USB cable to the console is absolutely phenomenal. It is so loud, in fact, that I've actually had to turn it down to 75% in the system itself. So you have nothing to worry about there. The volume works just fine. First thing I did is I tried it out on Grand Theft Auto V on PC. And I gotta tell you, this was via USB uh, on stereo mode and no bells or whistles turned on because there's a piece of software that you can download that we'll cover in a bit that allows you to equalize the sound and also change from stereo to 5.1 to 7.1, right? So stereo sound, no bells and whistles turned on, just plug and play. This thing sounds absolutely 
incredible. There was a portion of the game where I was just out in the middle of Los Santos driving around as Michael, and you can just really hear all the crisp details of the gravel kicking off the tires and hitting the sides of the car, the screeching of the tires as you're taking sharp turns, everything. It sounded so good. But for the sake of thoroughness, I've also played a couple of different games on PS5. For starters, I played Spider-Man Remastered. Started the game up last night, decided to play it out because, you know, why not? It's been a while. It's one of my favorite superhero games. Let's do it. Absolutely beautiful. Soundtrack is alive. The whole city scope, the whole city scope, cityscape, everything about Spider-Man sound design comes to life in this headset. You don't get the bells and whistles on PlayStation 5. You get what you get when you plug it in, and it sounded amazing. Dialogue was crisp and clear. The basses was punching. The mids were midi. The highs were high. That that was bad. I'm sorry. But you get the point. It sounded really good. It, sounded, it, it just brought everything to life, okay? So cool. No big deal, right? Whatever. I know... You're probably wondering, will this headset be any good for something like Warzone, PUBG, Apex, or Fortnite? The answer is absolutely freaking lutely yes. So to test the sound stage of most headsets, I usually play PUBG. I play PUBG because I absolutely adore that game, even through all of its flaws. I think it's one of the best battle royales out there. Uh, obviously, I'm in a minority in that train of thought, but that's okay. That's not what this is about. So plugged in via 3.5, no bells or whistles turned on. And caveat, side note, okay? To have all the features that this headset really has, you have to have it plugged in via USB, okay? And you gotta have the uh, XXFY software. That's a tongue twister. Anyways, um, so soundstage, absolutely great via 3.5. You're able to tell where things are coming from. You're able to hear footsteps from different directions, above, below, side to side, gunshots, same exact thing. Uh, the bass isn't overly powerful, so it doesn't really drown out everything in the game, but it packs enough of a punch to really, you can really feel the impact of those gunshots and explosions and whatnot, right? Now you turn battle mode on. Okay, battle mode is one of those preset EQ things that this headset comes with, and I'm flying into the map, and it just sounds incredibly hollowed out. And I'm a little concerned at this point in time because I'm thinking, man, this doesn't sound that great. Like, how is this going to really deliver the experience that it says it's going to if it sounds this hollowed out? If it sounds like a whole lot of different frequencies are just plucked out. And the ones that really stand out in first-person shooters or competitive shooters are the ones that seem like they were kind of boosted up. But then I drop down, I go into the first building, I get all my weapons, I get everything going, and then I hear the footsteps. And I'm like, oh, crap. Like... 3.5 was clear. This is like, oh my God. This is like, this person's right here literally in front of me. When I tell you that this was the most precise sound stage, sound cues, direction cues, whatever you want to call them, this is the most precise headset I've used. Now, I would not recommend battle mode for single player experiences because again, it does kind of seem to boost different frequencies that you rely on much more in games like Warzone or PUBG. Uh, whereas in single player experiences, you want to, you kind of want everything flat, I think. Personally speaking, I try to keep the EQ flat for single player games because that way you can kind of get a good even amount of sound from everything that the game has to offer. So don't use battle mode in single player. At the end of the day, this headset has among the best sound I have ever experienced in a headset. Now that that's over with, we're going to talk about the microphone. And while we talk about the microphone quality, we're also going to take a look at the SXFI software. All right, ladies and gents. And now this is the microphone on the Creative SXFI's headset. And uh, it is a detachable microphone. You simply just plug it in and you're good to go. And um, I got to tell you this, this is the best sounding microphone I think I've ever used on a gaming headset, period. I don't recall using a microphone that sounded this crisp and this clear. Well, maybe let me take back the clear part. So it's not necessarily the clearest microphone I've ever used, but because um, obviously, you know, I've got the uh, volume turned up to 100%, so you can definitely hear some of that white noise going on in the background right there. But even with that, I think it sounds really darn good comparing to other microphones that I've used in the past on headsets. And traditionally, microphone is where the, the most companies drop the ball. And I feel like Creative managed to not do that for the first time in a long time with compared to other brands, of course. All right, ladies and gents, so let's take a look at the SXFI software that you can download optionally called SXFI Control. The other thing I want you all to take note of is that right now I'm running the microphone and the headset through OBS. I've got Reaper plugins on. The only plugin I'm using is the Reaper gate, the noise gate, which is gonna eliminate a whole lot of that white noise that you probably heard when we first started the microphone test. But anyways, so we have the uh, SFXI Gamer 
headset connected to the computer via USB. The control app is open and you got a couple of different options here. So the Super XFI. So Super XFI recreates the same expansive depth, detail, sound stages, and realism of a high-end multi-speaker system on your headphone. Super XFI or Super XFI is computational audio. It uses massive compute power with swarms of data to personalize audio for each individual. Uh, you have to sign in, get the app on your phone. Uh, it makes you scan your ears and your head, and apparently it conforms a lot of the data and pumps it into the headset and allows it to kind of I guess, pump sound out to really match your physical shapes of your ear and whatnot, or ears. Anyway, so you got that. You got your equalizer right here. So you can turn the equalizer off or on, and you have the drop-down menu here. We got classical, flat, pop, game, and cinema. I do have game uh, as my option turned on right now and active. And so what you can see here is that there's a bit of a bass boost and a treble boost along with it, and you can kind of see the EQ line here right, going for that. Uh, you're able to turn it off, of course, and make your own customizable settings as well. You go to lighting, you're able to kind of change the color of so the RGB lights on both ear cups, and then setup. So this is kind of the interesting part. So right now you can see that I have 7.1 toggled, but you can switch between 7.1, 5.1, and stereo. Um, I actually played some GTA 5 uh, across all three, and I'll tell you, stereo and 5.1 were among my favorites. 7.1, I couldn't really tell much of a difference between 7.1 and 5.1 in this headset. So uh, 5.1 for me is the winner in this case right here. But you can pick either one and go with the one that you prefer. And then we've got mixer here. So this will allow you to balance the audio between your actual game and computer audio and your microphone audio right here for when you're recording. But uh, we're going to make sure this is maxed up because we don't want any mishaps there and our playback right there we'll leave it at there anyways uh from here you're also able to mute the head speakers themselves the headphones themselves and if you wanted to you can mute the mic but the mic also is mutable via the button on the left ear pad um so pretty nifty little software nothing exceptionally crazy or great about it just pretty standard stuff uh i think the most Interesting feature that this software has to offer is, of course, the ability to switch between stereo, 5.1, and 7.1. And I absolutely love that they've included this feature in the software itself. Uh, I've not seen that done before. Now, I'm not saying that no one has done it before, but I personally haven't seen it. So to me, this is, this is new to me. So, all right, ladies and gents, well, let's go ahead and just wrap it up for the day. And let's go ahead and move on to our final thoughts on this headset. All right, ladies and gents. So let's just get right down to it. Here's the deal. The SXFI Gamer from Creative is officially not only my favorite headset of 2021, it has now become my favorite headset that I have ever used in my life. And there's several reasons. And yes, that means that the Philips SHP 9500 is now number two. And here's why. The headset is very well built, right? It's rugged, it's solid, it's very well built, it's very comfortable. It's not gimmicky looking, it's a very sleek, fine looking headset nothing crazy about it and even the rgb itself isn't like overly done like this is when i think of rgb this is what i'm looking for i'm looking for something simple i'm looking for something clean i don't need rgb on everything all over the headset right the other reason why this is now like my favorite headset ever is because it sounds absolutely amazing and this headset has converted me into a usb headset believer you see prior to this headset I've despised USB headsets. They've been pretty bad for the most part, in my, in my opinion, right? They've been pretty bad. The sound just isn't what it really could be. And I found that analog has always given me better sound. However, this headset has changed that mentality now because this headset executes USB functionality with sound pretty damn near flawlessly, okay? And not only that, but it also sounds just as good on 3.5, on analog. So it gives you a lot, it gives you the options to use either one. It's versatile. It works phenomenally well on PC and on PS5. It doesn't suffer the volume output issue that other headsets do on PS5. And to top it all off, the microphone on this guy right here is, is probably the best microphone I've used on a gaming headset. I wouldn't say, hey, go do a podcast and a YouTube video with this. But if you did, you wouldn't sound bad you would actually, you would sound okay. It wouldn't be terrible and you could equalize it and add some noise gates and do a couple of things here to, to, to edit it all and you would sound okay. But that aside, 
The microphone's really good. You have build quality, sound quality, mic quality, and you can never have all three. The Creative SXFI gamer headset has all three. That's why it's my favorite headset, period. Do I recommend this to y'all? <laughs> Absolutely. You better believe I do. 1000% recommend this headset to anybody. You're in a market for a headset, get this headset. This is the one to get. I hope y'all enjoyed the review. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. If you have any questions about the headset, any comments, let me know if you purchased it. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me in this review. I love having these conversations with all of you. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. Y'all know the drill. Until next time, be good to yourselves, be good to one another. And last but certainly not least, Creative Labs, thank you very much for the opportunity and for the headset. Y'all are amazing. And so are you viewers out there. Take care. Peace out.